What's up guys? This is Jay and I'm at my Keystone Apiary today. And I'm going to put some of these instrumentally inseminated queens from my class into their uh, nuclei, their nucleuses. And I've got some uh, bees in some of these nucleuses that I put over into here that I'm gonna get these queens ready to go into. And I have these push-in cages. These push-in cages are one eighth inch hardware cloth. And when you have instrumentally inseminated queens, this is one of the important steps that you need to do to get them uh, accepted into your colony and to make sure that they start laying eggs. So I'm gonna uh, change the camera around for a second and um i'm gonna get one of these queens released into the cage and show you what that looks like all right so what we want to do with this eighth inch hardware cloth we want to put the queen under there and that lets these other bees uh accept her her more readily let, lets us uh make sure that she's going to lay eggs in this colony although i have to come in and take this cage off in five or six days and put a queen excluder over the entrance that way she doesn't try to take a mating flight at least until she makes more cat brood on her own so um they'll be able to feed her and take care of her through this cage and the emerging brood will also uh emerge out of there and feed her royal jelly right away so we have that to do with our other instrumentally inseminated queens and these you can see that dot on her thorax we have number dots on them this is a buck fast breeder queen so i've got some uh vsh carniolan genetics that i'm going to be doing with mm -hmm. the other breeders that i got here the ones that i inseminated for my class and we're going to continue to do that and uh maybe get some videos of that or I won't let's we'll see what we got after we get in some of these all right so this is my first uh VSH carney inseminated queen and um she has one of those dots on her back I also clipped the wings on all of mine they're kind of following her around trying to figure out what's going on these nucleus They've been uh, queenless for a couple days, so they should be ready to accept a queen. We'll have to cut out any queen cells. And before you put them queens in, they have to be anesthetized with CO2 again to help them um, start the brood laying process. So we're gonna get them back in this nucleus and I got uh, three more to do here and I'll have all of my instrumentally inseminated queens added into the stock so that's uh that's pretty cool